in hierarchical clustering, uh, we start from the bottoms up. Uh, when you have this whole pool of features, you know, let's say you have 500 features, okay. The first step is to group them into small clusters, maybe two features or three features in one cluster. And then the, at the next level, you group this two feature cluster into a bigger cluster. So as some level, you will have to stop, obviously. So at the level when you stop, you have big cluster and you have smaller cluster. Uh, and each cluster will contain features that are very similar to each other. What does similarity mean? Well, you know, usually similarity is measured by the you know, correlation of those features in the training set. But you don't have to use correlation. You can use other information theoretic measures such as cross entropy or uh, variation or uh, mutual information or a Kubak liberal distance, whatever. You know, you can use whatever uh, metric you use to measure similarity. But what we use in our paper is just simple O standby uh, Pearson uh, correlation. Okay, that works just fine uh, for us. Um, so the question, however, is uh, at what point are you going to stop? Uh, we, you know, for the details, you have to read our paper. You know, basically you have to stop at some level uh, which create the quote unquote best clusters. They are mathematical criteria for determining at what level of clustering you should stop. Okay, so now that you have clustered these features into similar features, how do you apply MDA? The MDA apply so that all the features within cluster are permuted together. Remember MDA permute the rows of features. You know, they, they randomize the mapping of the um, feature to a label, but this random permutation are now applied to all the features in a cluster at the same time. That is to say, you, you can imagine if you, are, you have a spreadsheet of where the columns are different features and the rows are different samples, you can imagine all these columns within a cluster being glued together. When you permute them, when you rotate this column, all these different columns move in the same way. That's how cluster-based feature selection work. Okay, and then after you obtain the um, the mean decrease accuracy of these different features, the important score that you attach to the uh, the features or to the uh, is essentially one over the rank of the cluster. So you rank this cluster one, two, three, four, right? The most important cluster is rank one, the second most important cluster is rank second, and the important score of those cluster is essentially one over the rank of that cluster. Very simple, nothing fancy. 